I'm anxious to get a bike that's together and works and rides so I can play with it. And so rather than build from prints, I'm going to go ahead and just ad hoc use the spare parts I have and the parts that I purchased and slap together something that I can just ride around. Here we go. I start by welding some tubing from my local steel supply to a reclaimed bicycle thing which has kind of that rear geometry bicycle to see A, how my welding is working and B, just get some parts together. Here I am welding these tubes together, the bottom bracket tube and the steel tube from the welding supplier are the heavier tubes. The seat tube came from the original bicycle, it's much lighter metal much thinner walls. I started out at about 70 amps and then increased the amperage up to maybe 90 amps uh, and then went ahead and welded. I did a lot of turning so I was letting gravity help me a bit and really took my time welding. I'm pretty sure that in the end I got things stuck pretty well. You can see that I dipped the stick, there was a blob of steel on the tungsten. I did weld through it. Most of the time I resharpened, took the tungsten out, resharpened and did it again. The weld quality was pretty good. In order to strengthen that joint, I cut a gusset out of some scrap steel and went and welded it in place. Awful. This is tubing from the steel supply. This is old bicycle things that were just cleaned up and did a little bit of welding. And that was just to put, be able to put together the frame so that the rear wheel will be here and the, the front steering apparatus with the twin wheels will be in the front. And the, the welding is sloppy, but that's all right. Uh, what I wanted to do next was take this thing and put a brake bracket on so that I could hook the disc brakes on. And what I discovered is, we know that these wheels are very heavy, um, and so this is a 180 millimeter brake disc. And what I discovered, putting it in the right direction here, is when I put the frame on, there's no real room for the brakes. So this very first bicycle, instead of using disc brakes, is going to use the caliber brakes. Took old steel and just cleaned the loose rust off of it enough to cut it to size. The pieces I cut weren't any particular length, they were just the same length. So once I cut them off, I clean them up enough to have a clean surface to weld with. I also cleaned the bottom tube up so that all of the mill scale was off. Having purchased some regular household hinges, I had to clean the, the coatings on those hinges off. Once I had the hinges cleaned off, I had some smaller diameter tube that I cut up. Those arms ended up being a little long, but I cut them up They're all the same length, and then I notched the end. I did that so I could flatten them. I flattened them on each end so that I could then weld them against the flat surface of the hinge. So each one was pressed in about the same distance using just this vise here. Took a couple of minutes, but it was pretty easy to do. From the notch, it just took the very last half an inch and flattened it. Now I've used these magnets that I bought to help line things up. They were a little tricky to get to work, but because I wasn't going to a very particular fixed location, I was able to line them up good enough. My most important thing was so that they were the same left and right. Lined up, and now we'll get some welds on just to hold them in place temporarily, and then I'll get the other things out of my way so I have some room to weld. Yet another time having stuck the tungsten rod where I had to take it out and sharpen it. 
but sharpen it I did and back we went and got the tacks in place and they got all of the little clamps and things out of the way so I could put a good long weld on. I wanted to weld these pretty solidly because the tilting mechanism goes to it. You can see from the glow inside the tube that I have pretty good penetration. little tack on the back side to keep it stronger. Now you can see how those notched in and flattened ends fit together. That just goes together like that. Like that. And the only reason I'm squaring these up is So the guide like... was to make the, the everything parallel ding, 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 and that ding, ding. bar over the top is just a way to hold things in place. These welds are pretty small, but they turned out to be pretty strong. Of course, I had multiple sets of these arms to make. So there they are. I welded them to close the notch and to make them a bit stronger than they would have been. And they turned out pretty well. Certainly good enough for this first rideable bike. Now that I have these arms, left and right, upper and lower, Time to weld them onto the horizontal tube. And you can see now that I'm mounting them at a little bit of an angle. And that's what those brackets were for. Yay, one more time, stick the tip, take it out, sharpen it, do it again. I always loosen the torch and pull the tungsten out of the torch rather than using the torch to torque it off. Just because I think there's copper bits inside the torch that's all too soft, you just keep pulling and pushing on against the steel. There are plenty of places to weld and get it stuck down really solidly. Now I weld together the outside. They just really needed to be tacked because there's another part to go on here in a moment. And there you have it. Left and right arms, parallelograms, everything stays nice and parallel. That's all right. A little bit in down here. But I didn't have enough parts. So I went off to the kids collection of parts and grabbed some things. One of the things I wanted was a piece of oval tubing off of one of the bikes. So I cut them all the way apart, recycled what I didn't use, and set aside parts for, for later. Now you can see that oval tubing used to make a saddle to mount what will become the kingpin for the steering assembly on. You just use a little weight to hold it in place. Got some tacks on it. Did that for both sides and then went around and welded it pretty carefully. Notice that the saddle has an angle so that while that arm moves up and down, everything ends up being vertical. It's not quite vertical. It actually, as you look at the bike, is designed so that it leans outward enough so that the kingpin points to underneath the tire and slightly forward of the contact patch. So I stuck that welder a bunch of times. Sometimes I just welded through having stuck the welder and had a bit of steel on the end. And sometimes I drew the arc length back, which ups the voltage and increases the heat.
I've been doing that kind of little weld. Not all of them have been good. I dipped the stick on some of them and so that caused me to do some things I probably shouldn't have done with the welder. All right, it's a black day. I was bashing together the bicycle to just have a first thing to ride. I thought I could just get it out really quickly and then assemble it and go for a ride. And I got the suspension pieces working and I started working on the steering parts and all of that, but I have this new TIG welder and it's a black day. It won't weld. I did something to the welder to make it so that it won't work. So what I'm doing today is I'm gonna finish and clean all this stuff out of the way and just look for a next video about how I deal with the welder and what's wrong with the welder and how the company follows up and things like that. Okay, time to clear the bench. It's so fun! So this, my friends, is Claudia's welder with helmet number five. It's a little MIG welder, and if we spin it around here, sorry about that helmet. <coughs> spin it around there. It's a flux core MIG welder. It does have a place for a gas bottle, but I don't think it's ever been used like that. And what we're gonna do is really quickly weld together the bike. And we're just gonna do that out there. All right, we're just gonna see if we can get this welder to do the most basic weld, will it? Strike an arc. Lovely, it'll strike an arc. Let's start putting a few things together then. You can be so sloppy and you can still stick it together. The first thing that I'm putting together here is just finishing a bunch of welds on the steering components, left and right. That's two parts together. This is, of course, where I wish I had the TIG welder. Welding this tubing with this MIG welder is just awful. Welding that tubing with the MIG welder is hard because the tubing is such a thin wall to burst through it. So I just did little tiny weld, weld stop, weld stop, weld stop. And that was enough to get it solidly together and then weld it oh. to the frame. It's really ugly, but it's together. The bad news was the welder is dead. The good news is I could borrow a welder and just slap together even rougher than I had planned before something so that I can go ahead and assemble a bike. Uh, this thing will be maybe one color I think and then we'll go on and do a little putting some parts on wheels and etc. So here we go. Quick trip around the whole frame with a wire cup cleaning tool getting slag and things off. Frame and the steering components. Again, we're just getting them clean enough to get them to be essentially one color and maybe a little cleaner and easier to work with later. It'll be easier to see what I'm doing. Quick little wipe with acetone. And you can see there the saddle joint and the steering component that'll go with it side by side. Not in the right place, but there they are side by side. We wiped everything down with acetone, top to bottom, and then. Okay, touch of paint. Got some paint. Paint color was selected by my daughter. I kind of like it. Someday I'm going to learn to wear a face mask when I'm painting, but as it is, it was a breezy day. I think I was okay. But I'd realized by this point that I made those arms altogether too long. They're supposed to be shoulder width to the tires. All right, 
here's where we're going to leave it. I sawed apart a bunch of old bikes and reclaimed a bunch of parts in order to make something not to print but that had kind of the basic steering geometry so that I could have a tilting leaning bike and made some parts to make a suspension and just welded it all together to go very quickly. I just really welded it together quickly and hacked things together and didn't really think too much at all about how some of the details related to the design and the print. I just want something to ride. Uh, the welder died in the middle of it, so new welder's on its way, and I finished off the last of the welding just running over to a friend's house and borrowing a MIG welder, which I slapped together some things, but we've got a frame, we should be able to put bike parts on it, there's the rack that'll fit on a standard bicycle and batteries and power controllers, we have some old bike wheels and we have the electric uh, motor unit ready to hook on, so what we'll do next time what we'll do next time is go ahead and start assembling this and hopefully take it for a spin